Konami once stood as a beacon in the gaming industry, revered for innovations that birthed iconic titles like Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania. This legacy, rich with creativity and nostalgia, painted a bright picture of gaming excellence. Yet as the mid-2010s approached, a shadow fell upon the titan. Controversial shifts towards mobile games overshadowed beloved franchises, alienating longtime fans. Allegations of employee mistreatment further eroded trust, casting Konami into the depths of disdain within the gaming community. Despite these troubling years, the dawn of a new era glimmered on the horizon. Recent efforts have shown promise, with Konami reigniting interest in its classic games and taking steps to mend its fractured relationship with gamers. This revival hints at a resurgence, suggesting that the Titan may reclaim its rightful place in the gaming world once more. The Golden Age of Konami Founded in 1969, Konami made its mark during the 1980s and 1990s with iconic franchises that would shape gaming history. Konami's rise to prominence began in the 1980s, with arcade classics like Trackfield and Contra captivating audiences worldwide. They then transitioned seamlessly to the home console market. The company became synonymous with timeless classics like Castlevania, Metal Gear, Contra, Silent Hill, and Pro Evolution Soccer PES. These titles pushed the boundaries of storytelling, gameplay mechanics, and graphical capabilities. Castlevania brought gothic horror and platforming to new heights, becoming a cornerstone of the action-adventure genre. Metal Gear, under the visionary direction of Hideo Kojima, revolutionized stealth-based gameplay with deep narratives and cutting-edge technology. Silent Hill became the benchmark for psychological horror, offering gamers a chilling experience with its terrifying atmosphere and emotional storytelling. Pro Evolution Soccer PIS, became a mainstay for football fans rivaling the FIFA series with its realistic and responsive gameplay. The company's reputation for innovative gameplay, compelling stories, and high-quality production made it a force to be reckoned with. During this era, Konami was a giant beloved by gamers and critics alike for its creativity. However, as the gaming landscape evolved, so did Konami, but not always for the better. The shift to mobile and the subsequent backlash. In the 2010s, Konami began to shift its focus away from traditional gaming. As mobile gaming and gambling machines, Pachinko became more lucrative in Japan. Konami prioritized these sectors over its core gaming audience. This pivot led to a series of decisions that alienated fans and damaged its reputation. In 2015, Konami Digital Entertainment CEO Hideki Hayakawa announced a dramatic shift in the company's strategy. They would be moving away from traditional console games and focusing primarily on the mobile gaming market. This decision was met with widespread criticism from the gaming community, who saw it as a betrayal of Konami's legacy and a sign of the company abandoning its core values. Further fueling the backlash were allegations of poor treatment towards Konami's employees. These claims, including allegations of forced resignations and lawsuits against former employees seeking new jobs, painted a stark picture of a company prioritizing profit over its workforce the fallout with Hideo Kojima. Perhaps the most notorious moment in Konami's fall from grace was the public fallout with Hideo Kojima, the creator of the Metal Gear franchise. In 2015, during the development of Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, Konami and Kojima had a highly publicized and acrimonious split. Kojima's name was removed from marketing materials, and he was reportedly banned from attending the Game Awards, where his final Metal Gear game was honored. This move deeply angered fans, many of whom saw Kojima as one of the last creative forces within Konami. The cancellation of Silent Hills, a highly anticipated horror project Kojima was developing with director Guillermo del Toro and actor Norman Reedus, further cemented Konami's image as a company out of touch with its audience. The playable teaser, PT, for the game had garnered critical acclaim, and its sudden cancellation was a crushing blow for fans too. Shift to Pachinko and mobile games. Konami's increasing focus on mobile games and pachinko machines drew ire from the gaming community. While the company continued to make profits, its decision to abandon traditional console gaming was viewed as a betrayal by fans of its legacy franchises. The release of Metal Gear Survive, a poorly received spin-off of the Metal Gear series in 2018, was seen as a cash grab that tarnished the franchise's reputation. Mismanagement of iconic franchises, Beloved series like Silent Hill and Castlevania 
were left dormant or reduced to pachinko machines, which felt like a slap in the face to fans who had been waiting for years for new installments. The once proud Pro Evolution Soccer Series also struggled to compete with FIFA, and its transition to the free-to-play model, rebranded as eFootball, was a disaster. The 2021 launch of eFootball was riddled with bugs and poor graphics, becoming one of the most mocked and criticized releases of the year. By this point, Konami had become a symbol of corporate greed, abandoning creative gaming projects in favor of more profitable but less beloved ventures. The Comeback A gradual return to glory Despite the tumultuous mid-2010s, Konami has recently shown signs of a potential comeback. They have recently announced the development of a new AAA game studio in Osaka, Japan, with plans for an RD center in Tokyo. This move suggests a renewed commitment to console gaming, gradually winning back the trust of gamers. This turnaround can be attributed to several key moves. 1. Revival of iconic franchises. After years of fan outcry, Konami has begun revisiting some of its most beloved franchises. The announcement of multiple Silent Hill projects in development, including a remake of Silent Hill 2, has sparked excitement among horror game fans. The fact that Konami is partnering with external developers like Bluebird Team shows that the company is willing to collaborate with talented teams to revitalize its dormant franchises. Similarly, Castlevania has seen a resurgence in popularity thanks in part to the successful Netflix animated series. Rumors of new Castlevania games have also circulated, suggesting that Konami is finally recognizing the potential of its older properties. Strategic Partnerships One of the most promising signs of Konami's return to form is its willingness to work with external developers and partners. By leveraging the talents of outside studios, Konami seems to be making smarter, more thoughtful decisions when it comes to game development. This shift in strategy could bring new life to its iconic franchises without overstretching its internal teams. Acknowledging past mistakes. While Konami hasn't fully addressed all its controversies, there's a sense that the company is learning from its past mistakes. The shift away from pushing out incomplete or uninspired games, coupled with its renewed focus on core gaming audiences, is a positive step forward. eFootball's redemption. Though the launch of eFootball was disastrous, Konami has been working to patch the game and improve its gameplay. While the damage to the brand was significant, Konami's ongoing efforts to fix the issues and provide updates indicate a commitment to turning things around. Conclusion Konami's story is one of triumph, decline, and potential rebirth. While the company's pivot to pachinko and mobile gaming angered fans, recent moves to revive beloved franchises and collaborate with external developers signal a promising future. There is still work to be done for Konami to fully regain its former glory, but the company is showing signs of listening to its fan base and re-engage with the gaming community once again. The journey back to the top won't be easy, but with the revival of Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta Snake Eater, the rumored Castlevania game and better strategic decisions, Konami may yet win back the hearts of gamers and reclaim its legacy as one of the giants of the gaming world. Whether this will lead to a return to its former glory remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, Konami's story is far from over.